Yo, what's up guys? Gemini Jets Ford here, coming at you with review here. Um, this is actually my very first Phoenix Models aircraft. Um, I really wanted, or I started, I've always kind of wanted a 346 in 1 to 400 scale. Um, and not only that, uh, I kind of want something, an airline that's not like, not Lufthansa, not United or an, Amer an airline from the United States, but still a heavy to work for Richthofen. And so I thought about my options and this fit each bill, you know, all my bills that I wanted, like my criteria, if you will. So this is why I got it. Uh, so far, I really like this, this model. I mean, it's really nice. Uh, Yes, that's just quick first impressions, and I guess get you on know, with the review now. So, look at the box. Um, just a kind of a, I guess, a regular Phoenix box. It's got the airplane, the airplane type, airline, um, registration, 1400 scale platinum series, the Phoenix logo, South African, the registration, airplane, Phoenix. In the back, limited edition, South African, blah blah blah. All right, so that's the box. I put that way back there. So now, the airplane. First impressions. Whoops. I'm trying to just put a notification, I guess, away. You could call it. Um, just sitting there. Yeah. So we'll just get started here. Uh, so it started up here with the nose. Um, you got a Star Alliance logo. Just wait a sec. Say hi to the engine. You know, put an extra light on. Actually, should've done this before, but oh well. Uh, that looks a lot better, lighting wise. All right, so um, here's the nose. Uh, you got the Star Alliance logo, L1 door. South African titles, L2 door, got engine, engine, wing detail, it's got the, um, the, uh, emergency exit and this, uh, arrows pointing to the back of the wing, the winglet, very nice winglet there, very nice detail on the wing with the, uh, design that South African has, very nice. Um, with all these, all the doors, there's so many doors because this airplane is so long. Um, and there's the registration again. Uh, uh, Zulu, Sierra, Sierra, November, Echo. The South African flag, A340-600. This tail, oh, it's, I think, that, I mean, the, the tail, obviously, it's also on the winglet there. It's, I think it's a nice tail, I do like it. Um. See, how's the APU? I did not look at that when I first got this today. This is something I did just get. I'm making the review the same day that uh, I actually got it, which is Wednesday the uh, 25th. Yeah, the, yeah, the 25th. Yeah, it's not drilled. So, yeah, it's not drilled out, as you can see, but still, I mean, it's a 1400, so you kind of. It's not as good as a 1200 would be, but still it's pretty good. So just basically the same stuff going down here, same side, same stuff basically really. Uh, one thing I will say, there is a, a Wi-Fi box right there, you can see the hump. That I think is uh, water, ew, not good. Um, so yeah, we'll just take a quick look at the underside of the aircraft. Uh, there we are. Uh, there we have the uh, nose gear, nose gear doors. There's the Phoenix uh, logo, stand hole, and the wheels. They do roll very nicely. Registration on the wing. Good wing underside detail. Yeah. So that is the South African A340-600. It's a very nice airplane. I highly recommend it. Um, 
I do really enjoy the, uh, so far at least, the Phoenix Mold for the 346. Um, I did, along with this, I did order this one. So this I'm counting as my 50th 1400 scale aircraft and it's also my 12th Lufthansa 1400 scale aircraft. Um, so yeah, this is a very nice airplane as well. You see it's got like the, um, the, uh, well, whoops, wow, that's, that's 737. It's got the antennas and everything, so very nice mold for that. Separate review of that coming later. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to wrap this up because my phone's going to die soon, especially using the video camera. It's not going to have a much, much battery life after this, so throw it on the charger. <laughs> So, anyways, um, thank you very much for watching. Oh, if you're wondering, uh, I did get this from Waffle Collectibles for relatively cheap. I got it for twenty-seven ninety-five. So, I had to get it. I mean, it, I mean, it, it just fits everything. It's uh, well priced, um, well made. It fits. I didn't want a heavy from a not an American carrier or Lufthansa. So, it fits everything I was looking for, and so very pleased with this airplane and i highly recommend it as i said before so thank you very much for watching um if you like this video hit the like button if you want to see more airplane reviews like this hit the subscribe button and also check out everything i've made so far some highlights i guess what you could say would be um latons 7478 uh by gemini jets latons a380 in 1 to 200 by gemini jets as well um, Herpa Antonov 225 and 1 400 and 1 to 500. Um, and well, I'll make, all my Lufthansa's are highlights to me. Um, and then let's see, can't think of much else. Yeah, that's basically it that I'm going to say for this video. So I want to make sure I still have some, a little bit of battery for the rest of the night before I really have to actually put it on the charger. So, yep, one more time, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Oh, comment, yeah, comment if you have any questions. Uh, now, I'll actually uh, end the video, so thanks for watching. Bye.